In the short term, Sebastian and teammates were faced by a European challenge of a different sort. Denmark and their inspirational captain, Michael Laudrup, provided the sternest test so far of Passarella's brief reign. Unfortunately, any plans Argentina may have had were badly undermined early on. Gustavo Baceda's clumsy challenge on Jess Hogue, giving Denmark the chance of a ninth-minute lead. And even Gustavo Bossio, 1 metre 95 tall, couldn't stop Michael from opening the scoring. Despite pressing forward, Argentina were restricted to long-range attempts. Batistuta's only chance was easily shut out by third-choice keeper Morgan's Crow. The Danes contained and counter-attacked Brian Laudrup, keeping Bossio busy. With Muller Nielsen's tactics shackling the Argentine midfield, the Danes gradually took control, and Peter Rasmussen should have settled it. But 15 minutes from time, a devastating run from Brian Laudrup, who'd inherited the captain's armband from his substituted brother. He set up Rasmussen for the second. Argentine tempers started to fray, and Chamot was sent off for a second bookable offence. At the final whistle, Richard Muller Nielsen was able to celebrate a notable tactical victory in inflicting the first defeat in six matches on Passarella's team. Man of the tournament Brian and Captain Michael collected the cut from King Fard and the $1.5 million prize. Not bad for 10 days' work, 